Guys, guess what? What? YouTube took down one of our videos and they might shut down our channel. What? Why? Why? Because you kids are too dangerous. How? You're basically YouTube outlaws. <laughs> I want you to slowly go down that, turn at the bottom, and then you're going to come uphill following the same way I did. Okay. Welcome back to Dad Said We Good. I'm Jim. I'm Henry. And it's been a while since we posted a video. In fact, it's we've got one fewer video than the last time we posted the video because YouTube says apparently we're too dangerous. We had a video where our dad was teaching me how to drive in snow conditions because we live in a place where it snows a lot in the winter. And basically we were flagged because I was doing something endangering. Jim. Henry, did you feel endangered? No, did you feel endangered? I did not feel endangered. Were you endangered? Or did you think we were endangered? Not in the least. That's why I teach you how to do things. So you're not endangered while you're learning new skills. Well, maybe something other than the uh, YouTube robots should be looking at the videos and YouTube should give us the option of talking to an actual human who could then use what used to be called common sense, watch the whole video and see that no one was in any danger. Gee, that seems like a good idea, Henry. Yeah, instead, YouTube should do that. Yeah, instead, it seems like YouTube's just more interested in keeping you from thinking and doing things for yourself. Sounds pretty communistic right there. The last thing a bunch of communists want is people being able to take care of themselves. That's so right. The name of the channel is Dad Said We Could. We asked Dad if we can do these things, and he determines if they're too dangerous or not. And if they're a bit too dangerous, we often take precautions to minimize the risks. But sometimes he just says no because it's too darn dangerous. And what we're doing in the garage is learning how to do things. There's inherent risk with learning how to do anything, especially when you're working with your hands. But that's why you control those risks and minimize those risks, like operating vehicles on private property away from others in a controlled environment with adult supervision and lots of instruction, which is exactly what goes on in every one of our videos. So YouTube, take the time to watch all of our videos. YouTube, your new rules are a bit restricting. And even though they're there, it's not going to stop us from working in the garage. Speaking of which, here's what I'm working on today. This is my 1975 Sears Suburban 16 V-Twin. I picked this up off of a church who was giving it away because they got a new mower. I've got plans for this mower. I've already flipped the front axle and the front spindles around, so now the front end is lower. I'm working on fabricating a new seat mount. Yeah, I think everybody wants to know, where are you going to sit? Or well, what are you going to sit on? Well, I picked up this old seat to replace this old worn out vinyl seat that was on there. And I think this is off an old Ford 8N, something like that. But I'm fabricating a seat mount because I wanted to lower the seat for the looks. So I'm fabricating a seat mount to put this right here so I can sit lower and still have better throttle controls and braking clutch controls. And it looks cool. That's the main thing. It, it looks cooler. It That's look, the main thing. He, he's cooler. going for looks more than function. Here. function that yeah. works. It, this is a 1975 tractor, so it does match your 1975 truck. It does. And since this is a Sioux Suburban, technically, I have Suburban and a K10. Technically. Yeah, you agree on that one. I will say, though, I, I like you sticking with the theme. It looks good. I do like the patina job. I plan on keeping it. Okay. Does it run? No, it doesn't. There's a lot of work on something that you don't know if it runs yet. Uh, I, it'll, it'll, it, it turns over. It, it ran a little bit on starter fluid. Just a little bit. Wait, it ran over? A little bit. Oh, Jim. It looks like you've done something else to this tractor. Ah, yes, I have. Since I wanted a foot throttle instead of just a normal hand throttle, I couldn't give it, like, revs like a drag car would do. So to fix that, I put this old bike throttle down here and ran an old Ninja uh, brake cable up and around. To the, thro to the carburetor, and that's the throttle. If you flip up this very nice hood here, one of the sports cars have that front forward hood thing, you can see that the carburetor is, if you're familiar with these Onans, it's kind of missing a little bit. What happened was I went to take the fuel hose off, and basically part of the uh, fuel tip ripped off. So Fuel pump. <laughs> fuel pump. Sorry. Anyway, I took the front plate, and I did a common mod on these. I uh, JB welded in the two breather holes here, kept this gasket, and I just put it on like that. And since the fuel pump is now gone, I ripped 
the fuel pump off our John Deere and mounted it somewhere where I didn't need it. It's like a universal Briggs and Stratton style fuel pump. Basically. Which we know works. This yes. year, so Dad said we could have a bring what you built fun day. We're inviting all our family and friends. If you built it or fixed it or anything like that, you can't have just bought and done nothing though. If you built it or fixed it, bring it where we say. Bring it. And we're gonna have fun with them. We're basically gonna just have fun with the stuff we built and fixed. He's gonna drive this, hopefully if it's done. If my dirt bike's done, which we're working on that right now. I have to put the iron back together, so. Yeah. If that's not running by then, I'm gonna use the cubby. If oh, your please. thing is just smoking tires in an old Dodge truck, you know who you are, then bring that over here. So we can smoke tires. Viewers, if you're interested, reach out to us in the comments. Family and friends, text us, call us. Do whatever. Maybe some can bring It's a get together with friends. Just having a good time. Yes. Complete parental supervision. There'll be no child endangerment involved. The parents have the final say in what's endangering to their children or not. Yes, and the children, as they have in the past, will follow the parents' rules, not YouTube's. Because YouTube is parents better than YouTube. Yes. Common sense. Common sense. So thank you for watching our video, and thank you for watching Dad, Dad Said We Good. Hey! Do you feel endangered? No, not at all.